Don't you doubt it if you wasn't my nigga We ain't for less or we still my nigga Don't always call you but you been my nigga Still the same nigga, nigga. I'ma got the ring 24 had to see that you can name me, I'm about to see you back Who's hustling, hand me down Now I'm whipping the cami round Hitting this of Baltimore Getting that hot chicken to get around Peace, what it is? Hold on, hold on, hold on, check them out The white girl destroyed the black neighborhood So white boys can burn the world The white cops is going to war Listen, I write thoughts and put them in song Listen, and the devil around the corner It's all good, cause God is living in you Ooh. So my niggas in the pen got me pushing the pen. I'm in the cracker and daddy whipping the cabra. Now I'm pushing the cabra to a similar route. One time I got the DJ. Listen, Mary and Barry mean with Barry O. Who is that? Slow Wayne meets Wayne Burton. This is bad brains from the Go Go. Oh, I'm in jail, so I'm dead full. Cause I got haters and I got flow. Niggas can't tell me nothing. I got the shit jumping from the White House to the Black Hole. Oh, oh. Don't let no lame tell you different. Hey, I got to say, man, I can listen to that whole fucking song, but I do want to prove a point. All right, this video is about the number 13. Goddamn, baby. Goddamn, man. Backwards world, right? Um, I think I already said this in a video, you know. You know, how many disciples did Jesus have? 12, right? So that makes him what? So why that's such an unlucky number then? All right, this is a backwards world, people. That number's important. And um, I watched this video, and now nah, I ain't gonna put it because y'all, most of y'all ain't ready for that shit. I know my my subscribers ain't ready for that shit. Um, I watched the video, and the video had my mind blown until they said one number in there. It said the number thirty one hundred. I said, God damn it! <laughs> you know when when you get to, I mean, whatever. I'm at a point where. Things that are coming to me are only further solidifying my foundation, my uh, belief. You understand what I'm saying? Um, it's quite beautiful, and you know, like but like I say, it, it's getting me nothing physical, um, <laughs> except for a couple of lost jobs, uh, you know, a couple of lost loved ones, and you know, some lost friendships. <laughs> Yeah, it's got me a lot of loss in the physical, but mentally, hey, <laughs> I got a great peace of mind about it, you know, what, a year, what was it, a year ago, and what, seven days, you know, my mother died, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like, but I wouldn't change it for the world, because now I just know I got somebody over there waiting on me, somebody else, you see, but, this, this this video was about the number 13, but I kind of went off on some more shit. What time? Oh, it's only been three minutes. All right, so the number 13, all right. Why, how come they made this number a bad number to you? Because y'all have to understand, everything that's good for you, they told you was bad, all right? Because, well, simply put, one man's God is another man's devil. And once you understand that, you'll understand the world. So, anyway, the number 13, okay. Back in the day, the ain't the so-called ancients, all right? Let's just put it like that. They always counted the number three as the number one. Why? Well, because to make an atom, which is the quintessential element for all that is in existence, Dr. Phil Valentine, um, <laughs> takes three to make, right? So, and in in our culture, the three was one. Now, there's some more science on on that that I can't go into, but God damn it, that's good enough for you to understand, you know what I'm saying? We didn't waste nothing as a people, you know? We didn't waste nothing. Everything has multiple meanings and multiple purposes. And you know that shit today by, you know what I'm saying, how you operate in, in this society, right? So, what is the number 13? Well, the number 13 essentially is you. It's your heart with, within hell. Basically, okay. If Jesus was the thirteen, then you know that Jesus is an allegorical story. Then you understand how important this number is. All right. Now, I was gonna get into a, uh, yeah, I was, you know, gonna go somewhere else with this. But since I started with this damn song, kind of threw me off, you know. So, <sighs> um, 
within the number 13 is a lot a lot a lot of information hold on let me just say as i'm going off on this peace to the brother 13 son because he's the first person that ever brought shit to me didn't know anything of it now you, you can go back and watch uh bobby hemmett lectures when he was speaking tell you what it was about but you understand what i'm saying I, I, you know i'm i'm new to this he was the one who gave it to me so he gonna always have a place in my heart right so the number 13 is you you, you understand what i'm saying the one being the first manifestation of the Most High. The one is the is the in in uh, Hebrew is the Aleph, which is the ox, which is the ox is the primal force. Okay, and the three is the Gimel, Gimel, which is essentially my name. But anyway, it is the vehicle, the movement, right? So. The one and the three would be the movement of the power of God. Mm. Nigga, that's you. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> so, I mean, that was my turn back there. <laughs> this is supposed to be picking somebody up. You know, but I, I just wanted to, I, I just had to do my little video. I had to do my video. My video, like, little fuck you. <laughs> uh, you know, so, I'm just gonna leave it at that. I think that's good enough, goddammit, if you to understand. That number is is important, so you know that's why they make it Friday the Thirteenth, the worst day. Of, you know, what I'm saying, I'm saying, when in actuality, uh, Friday is a holy day for all Muslims. Okay, you are a Muslim, whether you like it or not, but whatever. Um, it was it was a holy day for the Morris Science Temple, and because it's, it's the day of love, it's Venus. Venus rules Friday. Fry Fria was in. I don't know Greek or some shit. I don't know. Anyway, it's a day of love, right? And then thirteen is you. So it's the day for love. It's the day for you to love yourself and what they got you scared of it. God damn, boy, boy, they good on these on they on they holidays and you know they on the back of shit. You know, you gotta applaud them, man. Respect your enemy, man, but don't be afraid. Don't fear him. Fuck him. You dig? So whatever. But peace and love, man. I you know I got something to do. Take it easy.